Welcome back. Pleased to be joined as always by the head coach of the Connecticut Sun, Kurt Miller, on this Pride Night at the Mohegan Sun Arena coach. And uh, as an openly gay man, what does this night, this celebration of diversity, mean to you on a personal basis? Well, obviously, uh, it, it's, a, it's a personal subject to me and important to me, but more importantly, that, that we're celebrating diversity. Um, this league is one of the best um, in terms of diversity of all of pro sports. And uh, we have great fans, we have great players, and Pride Night around our league is very, very important because of what our league stands for. Me personally, um, the diversity and celebration, uh, celebrating that diversity is really, really important. When you were hired as the head coach of the Connecticut Sun in December of 2015, the reporters at that press conference to introduce you asked you about the fact that you were openly gay and the first I just become the first openly gay male head coach in the United States in professional sports you said you know I've always considered this a non-story why was that well certainly I've always lived authentically um, I came out um, during my career as an assistant coach so by that time I became a division one head coach um, all the administrations, my recruits, my team, uh, my loyal fan bases in the communities that I worked all knew about my family and that I had a longtime partner and we were raising twin boys. And so it was never a secret. It was never something that we kept. Just not a lot of people asked. The media kind of stayed away from the question. And so um, I felt like it was a non-story because I've lived authentically for so long. But I realized that I missed the boat. And uh, one of the things that I regret of not being a little bit more vocal or having uh, it talked about more in media um, opportunities was that I could be a role model for younger people that may be struggling or wondering if there was role models because they love sport and could um, a gay male, a, a, a lesbian be successful uh, in the world of sports, not only as a coach uh, but now as a front office um, general manager. And so, you know, I, I really take that role seriously and I missed that for a couple decades that, that uh, being a little bit more visible nationally in my role as an openly gay coach and now an openly gay coach that has also the dual responsibility of a GM that I could be a role model for younger um, uh, men and women that have a future in sports and, and have a dream to be in sports, but wonder because of their sexual orientation, could that really happen for them? So, um, you know, it's being talked about more and more and I hope that uh, they can look up to me as a role model. Final thing, Coach, as we celebrate Pride Night here tonight at the Mohegan Sun, how much further can we go with this? We've reached this point where now we celebrate diversity, but how much more needs to be done? Well, I think more needs to be done, but I, I look forward to the day where it is a non-story nationally that no one has to have labels of who they are or who they love. Um, you know, I hope that becomes a day. It, uh, we had an in interesting off-season in the WNBA with uh, stories about our league, and I just hope um, after those stories came out, you saw a lot of the straight players around the league feeling the need to stand up and proclaim their straightness. And so I just hope that someday that, uh, that we don't have to have labels, uh, no matter who you love, uh, that it's just part of our culture. Coach, as always, thanks for the time. Thank you.